I must say I'm excited, but at the same time, at the back of my mind, we haven't actually had been declared Ebola free. We still have in cases at least like maybe one or two a, 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 a day. So I'm not totally convinced because one person could pass it on to 20 others and 20 others each of those 20 could pass you know it's 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 a very viral thing it just keeps blowing up like a wildfire so it would be, have been much much better if we had actually had zero cases before sending kids to school and um, students back to college but it's a, a, a bold step because how long will we wait it's a tricky thing anyway, it's very tricky. But all I'm saying is we hope and pray that everything is going to be fine. And as long as we stick to the rules, we stick to the preventive measures, even the, the little, very little children know to they, they should wash their hands and all of that. And all those measures, if they're just put in place, um, I believe training has been done for teachers and all, so they know you know what to do when the kids go to school they will be taking their temperature and all that so if all these are done then i think it's 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 going to be wonderful everything is going to be fine and people start living their normal life and then at the same time ebola virus disappears finally